We're here with Poppy Hills architect Robert Trent Jones Jr. and we're standing on or right next to the 11th green at Poppy Hills, the only brand new hole as part of this renovation process. Uh, Mr. Jones, tell us about the inspiration behind this hole. Well, in a way, it's partly the only completely new hole, but 10 has been revised, and so there's a sequence right in this corner of the property which we have rerouted. And what rooting is the sequence of holes throughout the course, as, as any golfer knows, that's what you walk, that's what you play, those are the sequence of pars and so on. In the old days, uh, the original course, we're in a difficult, awkward position down here because we have a preserved area called the Gowan Cypress, and we had to uh, accommodate those trees for the environmental questions that were behind them. So we had the hole playing what is now currently the new 10th green in the opposite direction, playing in that direction. So now that we opened up the, we abandoned that hole and we're playing the new 11th hole in the exact opposite or reverse order. We're playing it more toward the sort of west than we were earlier, playing it toward the east earlier. And um, so a lot of opportunities for this. Among them, uh, we were able to extend and lengthen number 10. You'll still, it'll be more like Augusta 15 when you have to, a par 5 where water comes into play if you don't hit it all the way to the green, which is now, the green is now set where the old 11th tee was. And this beautiful new pole, number 11, is in, in keeping with the small little devilish holes that uh, come about on all great golf courses when you least expect them. Now remember at Marion uh, at the U.S. Open, um, Phil Mickelson came up, he was carrying five wedges and he came up with a chance to win the Open Championship on Sunday and hit one of the wedges over the 13th hole, a small little par three. That's a devilish hole. So he, even the greatest players can miss club the shot. That's what we've done here. The green is long and thin. It's in, in, set inside the slope. There's a strong bunker on the left and a series of bunkers all around the right to protect your ball from a worse fate, which is going out of bounds into the Gowan Cypress where, which is a no-no. And so while these bunkers look intimidating, they're actually friends. Uh, however, from the tee, there's a sense of mystery on this hole. You don't see the entire green. You'll see the flag stick uh, from every location of the tee, half the flag in the back, green is deep. It's about 110 feet deep. It's narrow, about 40, 45 feet wide, and it's going to require great precision even though the shot is only 140 to 150 yards long from the back. 